Hello and welcome to Food Tech 101. I'm going to do a, a live show here. I'm in my year eight class and it's the last practical of the year. So I've allowed them to come and make whatever they want. Let's see exactly how many brownies we got in one class. But I'm going to go around and they're going to tell us what they're going to make. Fudge brownies. Fudge brownies, got all the ingredients. Yes. Okay, how much sugar is there? That doesn't look quite enough sugar. I'm not sure. And what's this? Uh, salt. Okay, that looks like almost as much salt as sugar. It should be interesting. All right, what are you going to make? Flapjacks. So we've got some oats, we've got some sugar. Is there anything missing from that? Uh, a syrup. Okay, I'll give you some syrup. And what are you making? Egg fried rice. Egg fried rice with some... Um, sweet and sour chicken. Egg fried, fruit, sweet and sour chicken. All right, sounds adventurous to do within a time. I like the look of that. What are you making? Oreo chocolate cake. Oreo chocolate cake. Okay, where's your Oreos? Okay, I may have to test the Oreos to make sure they're safe to eat. Uh, what are you making? Sausage rolls. Sausage rolls? Okay, using the Food at 101 recipe. All right, cool. Look forward to seeing that. What are you making? Brownies. Brownies again. How many brownies have we got so far? <laughs> My goodness. And what? Okay. <laughs> and what are you making? Um, brownies. Wow, it's an interesting recipe you've got there. <laughs> Straight out of a packet. You're lucky you didn't know that before, otherwise I wouldn't allow it, but it is what it is. What are you making? Brownies. Brownies. <laughs> Brownies! When it's I say you make it, ugh! It's a bit of a mess, but Next time I do this, I'm gonna say anything but brownies. All right, let's see what happens there. Bra brownies are harder to make than you think, so we'll see. What are you making? Chocolate cake. Chocolate cake? All right, cool. What are you making? I'm making double chocolate chip cookies. Double chocolate chip cookies, look forward to seeing that. Oh, what are we making here? Brownies. Brownie mix. That's a, that's, a, that's a disgrace for our channel, but do you know what? It's the last lesson, so I'll allow it. I'm and you're making, I'm wait, a, shh, 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 listen, you're I'm making? A cleaner. <laughs> no ingredients, what are you making? Chocolate crunch. Chocolate crunch. Oh, chocolate crunch. And others. Why does everyone do chocolate when they've got a free choice? What are you making? Uh, chocolate brownies. Chocolate, that's a, how many brownies did we have in one class? Nice. That is crazy, all right? Uh, you've got a full lesson, in fact, we've got a double lesson, so you can take your time. Let's see what we got on with. All right, so we're in our class here, and we have, everyone's making like four million brownies, with a few exceptions. Next time I do this, I'm going to have to say anything you want, apart from brownies and chocolate. I don't care if you like chocolate. Every time I do an own dish, everyone just makes chocolate stuff. And here we have the most challenging one of all. Let's see what the instructions actually are. Hmm. Add water. Add oil. Mix. Wow, you've really, you've really gone all out with this one. All right. He's redeemed himself a little bit because I just discovered that this is actually a vegan um, chocolate brownie recipe. So I'm quite, quite interested to see how this one comes out. So we have a vegan recipe. So I blasted him because it's, it's just a packet recipe. No. But I am now interested because it's vegan. So we can compare the vegan with non-vegan, see how they come out. So you're back in the game, or what's the how these ones come out? Yeah. All right. So he redeemed himself. He's redeemed himself a little bit because I want to see how they come out. What are you making again? Of course you are. All right. But what I'd like to see here is you're making it from scratch as opposed to out of a packet. So that's looking good. I can see you're using the technique from Food Tech 101 for sausage rolls. Okay, use a knife. Use a sharp knife to take the skin off. All right. No, that's, that's, that's not a sharp knife. Sharp knives are over there. Wait, didn't we already make them this year? Okay, T. Cake's looking interesting. So I'm, I'm going to test those Oreos to make sure they're safe to eat because Oreos can be Oreos can be poisonous if not tested properly. So I, I'll just have to test some. I've also got mini ones in the back. Mini ones? You're opening for us. Oh, I've got one and three. All right, so uh, because I'm a, I'm a committed food tech teacher, I have to make sure I taste some ingredients to make sure they're safe for kids to use. So I'm going to taste one of the Oreos and just, make, just to double check that they're safe. Okay. Yeah. Yep, okay. Yeah, I need to put it in the pan with this. No, 
You know what you're doing? Uh, yeah. Sort of. Look a bit worried there. <laughs> Got it. Wait, oh, wait. Don't, don't overthink this. Just, just take a bit and bob it in. How much do you need? Only, I need 350. And there's only 200. And it's like proper melt pasta. 250? You sure? Uh, and that's in grams as well. Let's go. Tidying up time. One sharp knife outstanding. I need a sharp knife back, please. Okay, wash, dry, return, please. Okay, and we're back. Now, the class has finished doing their practicals. Um, we're going to go around and see how each one went. But just before we do that, it's important to note that everything we do now, really, in school, is all a form of learning. Now, some of your practicals did not come out exactly as planned and you know what that's okay because the truth of the matter is i made a shed load of stuff that's not come out very well a lot but that's an important part of learning the times i've burnt stuff times i've overcooked it times i've undercooked it times i've put too much times i thought well that ingredient doesn't matter and it really does all the mistakes you've made i've already made them but that's all part of learning and i still make mistakes now but each time i learn something you've got to stop and think hmm I realised that was wrong. Next time, I'll do something different. So when I come around and look at your, your food, when you tell me, tell me about what went well and what you think you might do next time, because it's all a part of learning. That makes sense? All right, I'm going to switch the camera around. Uh, How's it come out? Uh, well, all right. All right, how, what, would you, what, could you, what do you think might do different, or what do you think went well, and what do you think we could do better next time? Do you think you had the right ratio of stuff? That means yeah. the right balance? Well, yeah, a bit. Okay, measuring is very important. Did you check the amount of time it's supposed to be in the oven for? Yeah. Okay. All right, moving on. Uh, what are these? These are chocolate crunches. What do you reckon? All right, before, before we get to the baking part, how was it the first part? First part putting inside the ingredients was fine. Okay. But then as soon as you put it in the oven, it's worse. So what, 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 what do you think we'll, we'll, we'll do differently next time? Is it just the, the timing? Yeah, I think that's just purely a timing thing. But believe me, I've, I've, I've overcooked a shed load of stuff. I think some of these are salvageable. But yeah, it's very difficult to tell. With, why is it difficult to tell with chocolate when they're done? Because you can't really tell if it's burnt or not. They're already brown. And sometimes when chocolate's in, it's already soft, so it's we've got to make sure we're really sharp in our timings. That's a good learning lesson there. Moving on. This is our pre-packaged uh, brownie. Let's have a taste. A bit crunchy. That's the point. But it is a brownie mix. Yeah, so... How long do you think it was meant to be in for? Uh, I don't know. So, even though it's a brownie mix, and there's very little instructions... You've got to make sure the timing's right, because there wasn't very much to do with this, but I think you, it tastes to me like it's a bit dry, so it sounds like it's overcooked. So you can't tell with chocolate, you've got to make sure you specify the timing. How's yours come out? Um, I think it's come out a little bit well. I like the look of them, but they could be a little bit less cooked, I think. All right, so you might have overdone. I think we're getting a theme here. With chocolate, you're looking at them, and because they're a bit wobbly or a bit soft, you're thinking they're not done. And as a result, a lot of these, I think, are slightly overdone. How about yours? Yeah, I think they're very overdone. Overdone? Yeah, because I didn't really know, because I didn't know it was done or not, so it was a bit hard. When we're checking in, in, expert, um, uh, instructions, we've got to make sure we check our timings. We've always got to make sure that we know how to check when some stuff is cooked, apart from just how it looks. How about yours? Mine went okay. Um... So it's squishy in the middle because there's uh, melted chocolate in it, but it should set. All right, we'll see what it's like when it, when it cools. Anything you might do differently? Keep an eye on the time, probably. Okay, that's a theme. Here we have the vegan brownie out of a packet. I'm quite curious to taste this in a bit to see what this comes out like. Texture-wise, it seems nice and soft, but we'll get back to that one. Another brownie. This is like Brownieville. Good texture. What do you think about yours? Okay. Um, How do you feel the practical went in general? Good. Any parts inside that you had to adjust as you were doing it that, that part way through? Yeah. What? The butter. I forgot to melt it, so I had to melt it once it was all mixed in. Okay. 
Good. A classic sausage rolls from the Food Tip 101 recipe. How have they come out? Uh, a few of them have come out all right how I wanted, but then a few haven't really. So I think Which ones haven't come out? They look all right to me. Like these two at the what's, back. What's this wrong with them? slightly browner at the back. But. I think they are supposed to be more brown. So if, if me, I think that leaves a little bit more cooking. But uh, good job. Moving on. T. Okay, this is, we're part way through this, aren't we? Yeah. So what's the next stage for you with this? Uh, to make the buttercream and then put them both. Is the buttercream going in the middle? Uh, yeah, in the middle, then over the top. Okay, so we might have to flatten one off. Yeah. Okay, all right, so we'll come back to that one. Ooh, here we have a, one of the brave kids to do a savoury dish. We've got sweet and sour chicken and egg fried rice. Any parts of this you found particularly challenging? Um, yeah. Uh, well, I needed to put more uh, soy sauce in the rice. Okay. Good job. Here we have uh, our flapjack. What do you reckon? It's alright. <laughs> it's alright. No, my voice went. It's alright, but it's not. Okay, so how do you think your practical went? If you're going to analyse it, what would you do differently next time? Um, measure them accurately. Measure ingredients accurately. A lot of these things are ingredients sensitive. For example, even flat back, as simple as it is, you put too much fat or too much sugar, it won't set right. But we'll see how that comes out like when it's had time to cool. And finally, you had a lot of challenges. So you talk me through your dish. So it was hard making it because I didn't measure all the ingredients and that. Okay. But it did turn out great from a lot of help. Okay, so going forward, we've got to make sure we check instructions properly, yeah? Mm. All right. Do you want to taste? Uh, we'll come to the taste in a bit. So this is cheesecake out, out, out of the oven. So what we're looking at here, what, what's the icing? Looks, all, looks, looks a bit grey. It's got like mustard Oreos in it. So buttercream and Oreo icing. And look to cover our chocolate cake. Alright, keep going. We'll be very delicate with it. We need enough to cover the sides. Good job, keep going. Chocolate with chocolate with Oreos with chocolate with chocolate with Oreos with chocolate with chocolate with Oreos. <laughs> and that brings to an end another one of my year eight cook your own dish, aka one million brownies, uh, practical. Uh, a quick uh, couple of my students want to give some shout outs. I want to give a shout out. So who are we give a shout out to? Well, your channel, what's your, what are you um, My channel is Supreme FM on YouTube. Um, I'm on the way to 200 subscribers. Uh, so Supreme FM? Yeah. FN on the way to 200 subscribers. Hopefully, I'll get some more from this. Any more? Um, on Instagram, Arctic Highs, uh, 800 followers. Arctic Highs? Beautiful. Arctic Highs, 800 followers. Need, need to get followers for a sport credit code. Yeah, all right, there's one there. There's Arctic Highs. Arctic Highs, a bit of a bit of a. Yeah, anyone, any else? Dark FN. Dark FN. First. Any, any, any other channels that I'm shouting out? On my Instagram, Corey underscore Pato. Corey underscore Pato. Pato. Oh. All right, that brings to an end another practical. All together, my name is Mr. Liber, but you can call me. Sure.